Okay, Suzanne, here is a demo. We're going to start from where we left off yesterday. I set mine up just like yours was. Here I have a blank screen and under the layers icon, you can see that I have you and Mark and the fish. Now you'll notice that little square on the right. I can click that to activate that layer. Okay, there you are. So this is where we left off. At this point, before we make a selection, I want to illustrate the idea of creating new layers. The little plus sign above the layers if I click that, I create an empty layer. If I click it again, I create another empty layer. Now I have three layers, okay? Now I'm going to activate layer one, which is where you and Mark are. So I click on, on that to activate it, and it's now active. Now I click off to the side somewhere and that makes the menu go away, the layers go away. Now I collect, select the little S over on the left. See, it turned blue. Now I'm going to make a selection by drawing that dotted line around you and part of the fish there okay now down below there's a little plus sign i click that now you are selected and under the wrench menu i can copy that selection now under the menus icon over on the right I deactivate that I that layer one. I'm going to click the little check mark that will deactivate. Now we don't see you and Mark. And I'm going to click on layer three. And you see that's active and it's selected with the check mark. At this point, I go bring down that go to the wrench menu again, and this time I select paste, and there you are. Now, at this point, if I click the layers icon over on the right again, and I'm going to select layer two, which is active and selected, okay? Now I'm going to pick a brush. In this, my case, I'm picking the painting brush and the round brush. And I click off to the side here to clean up, clear up that, that menu. And then you'll notice that little rectangle that I'm pulling up and down on the right. That shows the size of the brush I'm using. And then under the color icon, up at the top right corner, I'm gonna pick blue. Okay? Then I click on the screen someplace to make the color menu go away. And then I just brush. Notice, I don't brush over you. I'm brushing on that layer underneath you. And I might even change the color and make it a little fancier, make a red. And uh, add a little red. Maybe even add a little yellow. It 
maybe even add a little green. And there you are, done.